Hello everyone and welcome to this week video. We will learn together how to remove the add to cart button on specific products. Um, I chose this subject uh, because I saw one of uh, one of you guys, one of your store owners uh, that asked in, uh, in, in one of the, the groups on Facebook how um, can we remove the add to cart for specific products uh, instead of deleting them or hiding them um, and the main reason for that is uh, because of SEO uh, that person didn't want to redirect all the URLs assuming like you have a hundred products uh, and uh, because in, in his case the products were available seasonal uh, so only in the summer some products were there to, uh, to, to be sold and uh, during the fall, spring, or, or winter, you could still see them, but you weren't able to purchase them. So let's have that scenario in, in head and see how we, uh, we can achieve it. So here's the end result and what we will achieve in this video, in this tutorial. Um, specific product that I have uh, chosen not to show the add to cart button uh, will have a, a, a message instead on the collection, on the search uh, page, and on the product page. Uh, you see, I have no, um, I have no add to cart button, but I have a message instead uh, for people to know what's what's going on with that. So let's see how to do it. First, uh, go in your admin panel. Uh, look for the product you want to um, to hide. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm choosing this one as a as a test Hero Plus LCD. I have it here, so we can see that uh, we now have the Add to Cart button there, and I also have it in 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 the collections, and most probably have it in in the search. Uh, so we'll have to to take care of that. Um, in my opinion, the easiest way to do that is uh, using tags. Um, so in this one I have I have no tag whatsoever it's part of a, of a collection um, so let's let's use a, a tag just a simple example uh, no show so we're adding this tag no show let's do save then um, I will open a new uh, just let me open a new tab here We'll have to go in uh, in your template and, and do some modification. So let's just go over here, edit HTML, CSS, um, close the layout. See in templates, we're looking first of all for product. And um, go back to your page. I'm using Firefox, you can do this in um, you can do this in Chrome also, just right click and uh, do inspect the element. Um, so what I have here is ID add to cart. So let's see if I can find, find this. Um, sorry. So just do a find and add to cart. I have it right here. So we have our form and the add to cart right here so this is it we're actually looking for uh for the button itself that will submit the order so just scroll below you have here the button and submit so what you want to do is write this simple code right here so we just want to put an an unless uh, statement which is the opposite of uh, if um, so if it's not this just uh, just show me this so let's do unless product tags contains Um, we called it no show, no show, contains no show. So all the buttons, 
if product tags doesn't contain no show, I want to show the button. And then just make sure you close it here with the end unless. Let's see if this works. Just hit save. And it did work. So it's not there anymore, uh, but I find it confusing because why there's no button there. Uh, the best thing for you will be to um, to tell people what's going on, why don't I have a button there, uh, and what are my options. Um, so again, with the with the same scenario that this is a seasonal product, I'm just gonna add here an else, and with whatever text you want to put there, like sorry, this product is not available right now but will be in spring 2016 because we're in 2015 right now so let's just hit save and we do have the, uh, the text to explain what's going on. Let's just see if um, with another product, let's just hit here, products, hero, and let's view this one. And with this one, we do have the button because we didn't put the tag on uh, on this product. So everything works fine for the product page. Uh, the the button still is there for products that uh, don't have the tag. If you want to see it right now, if you want to add it to this new product, we just do the no show, add it, save, and we refresh this right here. And bang, no more add to cart and uh, the text we put it in. Let's see how to make sure that you don't have it in, in the collection, maybe in the quick view or in the search as well. So in my case, I have, uh, I have a button add to cart on the collection page uh, for each product. Uh, so obviously if I do want to remove the options to add a product to the cart, I need to uh, to remove it from here also. Um, so let's see in uh, in my collection again in your uh, in your HTML editor go to, to template go to collection over here you're looking for um, whatever is with include so you can do a search for uh, for include and you will have all of them. I'm looking for one that is with uh, with product in it. Um, so the one that comes here is product grid item. So each collection it's including products and this is the template that it's, it's, it's going after. So you need to search for this which will be in a snippet. Um, so product grid item we can remove this look again if you have a, if you have a, a cart button a, a form add to cart whatever do your research in my case um, at the end of the product description and and the, the price I do have a, an include purchase buttons I don't need to take a look what it is. I'm, I'm just assuming it's, it's, it is the cart, the add to cart button. So we can do exactly the same as we did before uh, for a product. Let's just go back in product. Um, sorry. Where do we have it? Let's see, unless. 
Okay, right here. So just copy this. Copy product grid. And you need to do the less. Let's do the else also just uh, so people know what's going on. Um, let's just say available later. Let's see, just save it and let's go see the collection. See now for my hero plus L, uh, LCD, no more button, available later. Um, the other thing I'm missing is, uh, let's see if it did it for the search also. Because most of the time the search uh, will also call this uh, template, this this page, product grid item, uh, maybe it did it for us so we don't need to, to actually look for it. So let's search for LCD. LCD, no, it didn't. So let's take a look at uh, at the search uh, page or, or liquid code and, and remove it from there as well. So let's go back to, uh, to the template editor. Um, go in templates and look for search right here. Again, in the search, it's a little bit like the collection. You're looking for um, for an include. Uh, you have a bunch of them. I'm looking for include with products. Um, search bar, pagination, search results, or um, search result grid item. Um, if grid results equal false, no. Okay. Okay. So in this case, I want to take a look at this one. Uh, when I do have uh, results that get returned, because this the condition what I have here, if uh, if results there's no results, do this. But if there is results, do this. So now we're looking for search result grid item. You need to go in snippets and look for search uh, result grid items and now uh, you look for for a submit for add to cart do do a research uh, most probably it's gonna be towards the end in my case it's 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 my same include um, that I had in uh, in the collection um, was it in the collection where were my button? Uh, the product grid. Yes, right here. So I can just copy and paste exactly this to my search results. There you go. Just show it nicer. Okay, save this. And let's refresh. And we have sold out which is weird um, so let's see what's what's going on go back to your uh, to your template there um, let's first see if we are in the right page just add a test there and just click save now refresh it again okay so we are on the right page uh, seems just to be an issue with this and after looking just a little bit, I noticed that, let's delete that, that on this page, instead of using the variable uh, product, we're using item. Uh, so see item compare price, item price, item feature image, instead of using um, the, the, the term product. So let's just change our unless here to item. Click save, do a search, and there you go. 
now it's all working well let's just try for another one here four so we we have a small issue here shouldn't show sold out um, I did pause the video and I went back um, the issue was uh, my mistake uh, because I wanted to go a little bit too fast uh, the include here shouldn't should have been search instead of purchase um, so let's just put this back to search which makes sense because we're on the search page and if we save this and refresh it now um, everything should be working perfect so we have uh, we have our add to cart for the items products that don't have the tag no show and the ones that have the tag no show uh, will uh, will not have it one last thing in your template if you want to do it and if it's your case uh, it will be the quick view um, so you may have the quick view and the add to cart uh, will show there too uh, you will need to use the same idea just use the unless uh, with the product tag uh, but find first where your quick view is and then do it in my case I don't have to do it because uh, that button it's part of uh, of the buttons that was uh, beside the add to cart uh, so see if, if if you need to do it in your in your team in your template if not just just leave it like that so I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit uh, longer than than usual, but I think it's worth it. A lot of people can uh, can use this to uh, to their advantage, and uh, also have a better uh, SEO um, tactics and, and and way of doing things instead of of hiding uh, a product, uh, deleting it, uh, and then doing a new URL redirect. Uh, or worse, just leave it in there and have a 404 uh, error page. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As usual, use the, 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 the comments below. Um, in the description, you can also reach me by, by email, on Twitter, LinkedIn, um, even by Skype. Uh, let me know. Uh, I'll be there to, to, to help you and take your, your, your questions. As usual, don't forget to subscribe um, so you uh, you stay in touch with me and know when the last content uh, are released on my YouTube channel. Similar to this one, uh, how-to videos, but also I'm doing my uh, opinion on popular codes uh, that are related to e-commerce. So I hope you enjoy it and have a good day.